So I've heard this intro might be repetitive. Okay, tutorial time. Modules provide various bonuses to armor, weaponry, or utilities for the weight cost of 1 ton each. You should read each of their descriptions to see their bonuses, as there are many different modules with different effects. Heat sinks help keep your vehicle cool. They cool off half of a unit of heat per second and raise the reactor's maximum heat pool by one unit each. Heat sinks are automatically found on the vehicle by the reactor and do not need to be linked manually. Sensors keep tabs on reactors in a 360 degree view of its location. It can see through the vehicle it is part of and can be covered behind armor, but it is recommended to be high mounted for best view. HUD systems can be wired to sensors for their target's array. Missile systems capable of target tracking can link into the sensor's target output via wire. The sensor can be commanded to scroll through current target out of the available targets. ECM is used to obscure your reactor from being targeted by enemy sensor systems. ECM can be countered by a few pieces of equipment that will be mentioned later. While under ECM cover sensors will be incapable of lock, forcing enemies to manually lock missiles and leaving them unable to tell if you are sneaking up behind them. BAP is an option to counter ECM. BAP counters all ECM within 5000 units of the BAP unit. It can be boosted to double that range through modules. LAMS or laser anti-missile systems shoot down missiles that weren't fired by you within 2000 units of the LAMS unit. They generate 1 heat per missile shot down and shoot down up to 5 rockets per second, but have a 1 5th second delay between each rocket shot down. Stealth modules allow your vehicle to camouflage itself visually. Pieces of the vehicle under a certain weight will be entirely invisible, while heavier pieces will be see-through. Stealth modules generate 1 heat per second and reduce your cooling to zero when active. These are best paired with ECM, so that you will be invisible on radar invisibly. These can be great for vehicles looking to do ambushes against unaware opponents. Effects from weapons and jump jets are still fully visible when activated, so it is best to deactivate the module when firing or jumping though it can be useful for using when falling, so the enemy doesn't clearly see where you land and hit you while you accelerate back to speed. Hitbox controllers are small controllers used to manage hitboxes. You will need one controller for each hitbox you create. Select props with the hitbox pooler tool then right click on the controller to set the selection as the hitbox. You can select the hitbox itself to select and highlight all the props that are part of the hitbox. Hitboxes give props 4 times the armor of what a reactor would give them automatically. Armor modules will only change the stats of armor linked to hitbox controllers, not reactor structure or free entities. That's all the utilities. Tune in next time to learn about the more explosive side of Dactech.